Hey everybody! So today we're going to make Gaston's cinnamon rolls. You can find them at Gaston's Tavern at Magic Kingdom. I have the recipe here and I have all my ingredients and first we're going to melt the butter and the milk on the stove and then we're gonna let it cool just a little bit so I'll be right back. Okay now that our milk and butter has been melted and stirred stirred together it's all nice and melty um, we're gonna let that cool just a little bit over here I have added our flour and yeast and sugar and salt and I'm gonna mix that just a little bit then I'm gonna add the eggs in the water and mix that more so hold on just a second put this together stir that up just a little bit It doesn't really get down there, does it? Okay, so we're going to add our water. Okay, that's much better. Change the paddle, uh, change the mixer attachment. So I added the water and the egg. So now we're going to mix that all together. It's going to get nice and thick. Now we're going to add the butter and the milk mixture. As you can see, it's really soupy. So we're going to start adding the last four cups of flour little bit at a time. Once it starts getting into that ball, then we're going to add the dough hook. Here's our second cup. Two. So it's going to get really hard. Ooh. Four. I'm going to scrape that down. So I changed to the dough hook. Let's see what that does. <clears throat> to add just a little bit more flour too.
like it looks good. All right, we're gonna let that rise for just a little bit. Our cinnamon roll dough is rising. Got a couple more minutes on that. I'm going to make the filling. It's got a cup of butter and two cups of brown sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon. So I'm gonna mush this all together this and make it nice and spread. It's like all spready. So we're gonna put that on hold for just a minute and see how our dough is looking. And then we're going to um, roll out our dough and our spread dough this all over. Our dough is ready to go, yay! I'm gonna roll it out and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh my goodness, there is so much dough. It's huge. So I'm gonna spread the um, cinnamon sugar and butter mixture all over the dough and then we're gonna roll it up. Give me just a second. Okay, we have our cinnamon sugar mixture on there. It's all spread out. Now we're gonna roll it up. Let's see how this works. <laughs> well, I got it to roll. I'm not sure how many rolls we're gonna get out of this, but we'll try. We'll see what it does, okay? Hold on just a second, I'm gonna cut it up. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six rolls out of it. So let's get them in the pan. Okay, so our half an hour is up. Our rolls have um, grown <laughs> a lot and they are ready to go in the oven. We're going to bake them at 375 degrees for 20 minutes and we're going to put some tin foil over the top of them and then um, so the top doesn't burn and then bake them for another 10 minutes and um, while we're baking them we're going to prepare the frosting the icing and the caramel drizzle so it's gonna smell really good in here okay so our cinnamon rolls came out way bigger than the ones that are at uh, Gaston's but that's okay they look super now yummy. we're melting our cream cheese and butter and we're going to add vanilla powdered sugar and whipping cream to that and make our icing and you can make sure that that doesn't melt or doesn't burn and then we'll make the brown sugar um, icing that goes with it, the butterscotch topping. So I'll show you what this looks like as soon as it's melted and all mixed in, okay? And we have finished our glaze that goes on the top. Now we're going to make our butterscotch topping. So we'll be right back and, gonna, and then we will put the glaze on the top and we will have Charlie as a taste tester. He's going to taste them for us. We'll see what they They're taste done. like. Oh my gosh, and they are huge. It really is the size of a dinner plate. If, there's the pans, they're all empty. <laughs> but if you look, they are really the size of a dinner Whoa. plate. And there's so much frosting. Oh my goodness. They're gigantic. And that's a uh, one extra. So we're going to go over to Charlie and he's going to tell us how they taste. But aren't they beautiful? Okay, oh, here's Charlie. Hey. Let's see what the inside. The inside looks super yummy. Oh, look at the gooey, drippy frosting. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. Try the frosting. Before I just eat it. Frosting is good? Yeah. Okay, so I was going to say try on the edge right there. Yeah, because there. that one's falling off. There you go. Just break it off. What do you think? <laughs> That's a big mouthful. <laughs> it's very good, huh? Okay, cool. So it worked. We're going to eat our yummy cinnamon rolls on this Sunday morning. Say goodbye. <laughs> You're Bye. still chewing. Bye. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. All right. Hello, everyone. Listen, I'm terribly sorry that you couldn't be here to see me with your own eyes, but at least you can hear my voice. Yes, I'm sure that's probably made your day for you, hasn't it? You're welcome. <laughs>